kikubor ka bate si TV ka umdi basnyam bat pinjas liang umrupa premium meghalaya sophistication meets style the stylish trendsetter tata curve suv is in town india's first coupe suv is now in shillong net foodish or dharma phi nin wan ra mangi hakhr dob ying jong phi कतना त्रे कम पुले पुथी जोंक सरकार जिला मेघालय लिंगबा का समग्र शिक्षा कलयो बनसाम जिंगही कई हकी बिनता बफेर बफेर ना बिनता पलाद 6000 लाइस पांगोट की खना पुले हक लिंग जका हक निगत यो बलादेप हक आर पुसंतर एक उरिसाओ अरजार अरपसाओ उस्वपनल तेंबे उबलोंग उ डायरेक्टर जोंक स्कूल एजुकेशन एंड लिटरेसी बदरु उ स्टेट प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर जोंक समग्र शिक्षा उलादन रंकत हक प्रोग्राम पन कुप बुरम यागी खना स्कूल जोंक लिटिल फ्लावर सेकेंडरी स्कूल हनोंग बा शिलोंग नलोर क जिंग साम या की सर नॉट शाकी खना लापलाच पच बा रु या क एंथम जोंक क स्पाक लिंग बा की सर जोंक की खना जोंक क तेक स्कूल ही या किजिंग रुवाइल आई करतेंग इट स्टार्ट्स विद अ स्पार्क बट लथाओ बन पिन वंडर याका दा उकिट शंपलियांग जोंग किन होन सम सॉल्ट हा कने क स्नी ला सखी लंग द प्रिंसिपल जोंग क स्कूल क सिस्टर मेरेज द खर कि रुखत जोंग के एवेन्यूज लेमबट उ मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर उ मार्क स्टोन लाइट प्लांग कि नोंग ही काय बट कि 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 पा जोंग कि खना स्कूल क जिंगथमु जोंग क स्पार्क क लोंग बन साम जिंग ही काय ह पडंग कि खना स्कूल हा ख बे दे बर के जिंग श्लोर क रुकम क्रेन बट य दे पर ब्रियो क जिंग तिप तन राय शफंग क स्टेम बट क जिंग भा जिंग म्यान लपले प्रदानिंग कोंग ए या कने प्रोग्राम हाउल बेर 8000 अर फुसाओ बट हादु कने के सिंगी लला बन पेंडेप यका नबिनता पलाद सन हजार गोट के खना स्कूल हा अर फसंतली के स्कूल हा बरो खट अर्थली के डिस्ट्रिक्ट लिंगबा के जिंग पिंत्रे कम जोंग के एवेन्यूज शिलोंग ला बन ओंग बा या कने प्रोग्राम अंडंग साम शुशु शकी वे की स्कूल के जिल्ला हा की बनाए की बंडंग वन गन क्रेन हंगने ये कंदिया शपंग ग जिंगलोंग इखोन जोंगा बंगाल यो ई ग जिंगला नारम तका कने का प्रोग्राम स्पा मिनशुआ इखोन जोंगा ग ई ब इलोंग इबले रान बी बारि बम जु क्रेन ये की वे यनो यनो रु हनरे मनता नादु कने का प्रोग्राम स्पा ग यो ई कि जिंगला ब इला खाम क्रेन पहला खम दुना के जिंग ले राय मिनता ने अकवा बना के जिंग सों के जिंग खुबले या कने प्रोग्राम स्पा खम तम ए ईसा सोब नेल तंबी कि बला यारब यई खून जोंगा बाइला बन कला ना यो ई रु बकने का प्रोग्राम कलों का बरदन कम शीशा एक इखना ना कनमन रु बकने का प्रोग्राम कनंगला बन पलों शु शु हाकी वे की वेरु की स्कूल खुबले शिवन ये फी बरो फर्स्ट थिंग आई वांट टू मेंशन इज दैट यू नो इन एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट दिस इज फॉर द स्कूल वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ प्रैक्टिस दैट व्हेनेवर देयर इज अ इवेंट वी यू नो फेलिसिटेट द गेस्ट विद अ बुक एंड वी हैव डन अप डन अवे विद ऑल द अदर थिंग्स सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द स्कूल्स इन फैक्ट इंक्लूडिंग यू so whenever you have a event whenever you want to give something uh, first of all you know i whenever i go i ask don't give me anything but if you have to then books are the best gifts to give uh, after reading we can circulate back we can pass it on to somebody so i think education department we are promoting giving uh, books as gifts because you know uh, it is a very unfortunate that today the reading habit is coming down you know in the light of all social media and internet and everything which is there it's becoming very difficult to read i was uh, shared I, i somebody shared with me an article in us the student the professors now the, the biggest challenge for them is the make to make students read a book because it's impossible for a person to read and finish a complete book because there's so many distractions the the notification this that i mean it's like it, it's becoming very difficult to read a book so so you know that's that's a very funny thing but we need to preserve this reading culture uh, because that is uh, your stepping stone into anything whatever you want to do so books as gifts so that is my first point here today 
uh, uh, to all dear students, I want you to remember and appreciate this fact that you are very fortunate to be part of this wonderful school. You have a wonderful principal, wonderful teachers, wonderful infrastructure. So you are you're lucky to be here and you should make the most of it. There are unfortunate, there are children who are not in school. Meghalaya in the secondary level has the highest level of dropout. There are not enough schools in rural areas, especially in secondary. So you're very lucky, make use of this wonderful opportunity. Yesterday I was at uh, Edmonds uh, for a career workshop. So one of the students asked me like, why, why do we go come to school? Why do we have to come to school when we can learn everything over the internet? So this is a very common question now. And um, you know, uh, the role of teachers and the role of school is changing today. Earlier it was more of a information uh, you know, provider, like giving information. But now the role of teachers is more like a mentor, guiding students, imparting values, ensuring that all these values which we are, you know, through this program we are focusing, articulation, resilience, kindness, these are there in our children. So, the, you know, the role of teachers and the role of school itself is, is changing now because if I want any information, I can get it on Google. But, you know, those values, the, the skills, the skill set, the con, you know, making that confidence, inculcating that, that a computer program cannot do. So school and teachers and principals and, you know, this whole thing will always remain relevant. It's just that the role is changing. So it's very important to understand the changing uh, roles. Thank you to the dear students who made that drawing uh, for me and uh, that special message which you have uh, given. Uh, I definitely, you know, drawing, writing, these things, these things are wonderful skills because these are, you know, the um, avenues of creativity. And when you create something, you know, you feel godlike. Why, why do artists are like always so happy? Because, you know, as an artist, you create something, right? And who creates? Like God is a creator, right? So when you create something, it's magical. It's, it's above average, right? So you feel very good about it. So that's the thing with creativity. So don't just stick to academics, explore your other skill sets. And that's what I, you know, yesterday in the workshop, my main aim is always to tell you that school is a playground where you have to explore all your skills. It gives you all the, you know, opportunities. You have to explore everything, try out everything. Don't hold back. If there is a debate competition, participate. Painting competition, participate. Sports, whatever it is, irrespective of your likings. Because at this age, you will not know what you like or dislike. You should, you should experiment all to find that out, right? What's your passion? So school is that platform which you should use. Um, you have, you know, the, the, the claps which the teachers received gives a message how wonderful your teachers are. So you are lucky. Uh, to have these wonderful teachers and make the most of it. I just want to give you one advice. When you are in a classroom, give 100% attention to what the teacher is saying. If you do that, there is not much requirement to study back home again and again. I remember my school days, uh, the only right thing I did, and this is, was the advice of my mother, when in class you just listen to you know, what your teacher says, 100%, like you know, nothing else should come in your mind. So I just did that and, and somehow I never studied, you know, this is not something I'm advising. I never studied back home because I never had to because I was paying attention and I was, you know, always I stood first in the class just by doing that. So it's, it's simply just magical thing. You, since you have such a wonderful set of teachers, listen to them, pay 100% attention. Uh, we had a student who faced his fear and expressed very well, I would say, flawless almost. So this is something what the program is uh, fundamentally about, to get, to help you get rid of that fear to express. When you develop that ability to express, that is the first thing. And in fact, the most important thing to whatever you want to do, if you achieve this thing, then nothing will stop you ahead. So for, I'm, I'm sure like him, uh, there are many more who, who have this anxiety of coming here and speaking, right? So get over that. I would encourage the school to organize more such 
competitions where they get opportunity. In fact, in the morning assembly, every day one new student should come, uh, should come up and speak something. So that gives them the confidence. And when you have the confidence, you can achieve anything. So just remember these three, uh, you know, articulation is the most important resilience to persevere basically. Maybe in one go you will not make it. Maybe today if I ask somebody come to come and speak, you maybe, you know, you're not like uh, very good at it, but you'll get better. You'll get over your fear. So these three things are the foundation. So now education, as I said, like what is the purpose? Why are we all doing this? Why are there so many schools? Why are so much focus on education? The sole purpose, the fundamental purpose is to empower you so that you can achieve whatever you dream, you can, you know, you are empowered to achieve. That is what education is all about. And through education, it's okay. I mean, if you can clear your grades, you can score 90%, you know, that is one thing. But if you're not able to express, if you are not able to be resilient, if at the end, you are not a good citizen for our state, for our country, then the education system will, you know, it's basically failing, right? So through education, we want to focus on these fundamental values of articulation, resilience, and kindness, and to highlight that we have come up with a program. So I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot through this program. And as you know, you only have suggested, we will try to take it to all the students of, of Meghalaya. Today I want to share one wonderful story. Um, there was a girl, little girl, I think class 6th or 7th uh, from uh, Riboy district, a very remote area. She came across an exam which is uh, conducted by ISRO. Uh, you, you know, Indian Space Research Organization, which makes rockets, and there's a rocket right here. Uh, so that girl, the, somehow she, got, through internet, she got to know about this exam. She, you know, told her teachers that I want to write. The teachers and the, the administration there, they helped her write that exam. She cleared that. She went there for a two-week internship. You know, and they, they, all the children came from across India and they were shown how rockets are made, how rockets are launched. And now really, I mean, like, you know, she has made up her mind. She wants to become a scientist. So such a wonderful thing. I'm saying the message here is anything is possible when you can dream, right? And make that effort. Like as, you know, uh, one of the speakers said, you have to act also. It's not just about speaking. Uh, it's also about acting. So anything is possible. You can, you can always do it. In fact, recently, the other day, there was one article on one uh, UPSC aspirant from very rural area of uh, India. She cracked the exam just by watching YouTube videos, like of toppers. So the resources are there. It's just your will. You have to dream. I want to also share uh, one more thing. Um, which has recently started in uh, Meghalaya. We have uh, done a tie-up with Aga Khan Academy. Now, this is a wonderful, you know, uh, place, wonderful school in, in Hyderabad. And every year now, they'll be selecting four people from, from Meghalaya. And recently, yesterday only, we, they completed their assessments. 2022, four young kids from Meghalaya went there. And uh, recently, I got to interact with them. And the kind of, you know, transformation they have seen is, is, is amazing. So, you know, uh, and they are mostly from rural and remote areas. And now they are participating in national level events. They are, you know, speaking at such a wonderful, you know, platforms. So great transformation. So great things uh, are there, out there. You just have to, you know, uh, explore and maybe, uh, you know, find out more and put, put in some more effort. That is what this program is more about. To this Avenue team, I want to share that I would want to listen to more of uh, these young uh, students who, who feel that now they are confident to speak, right? So instead of one, two, maybe we can have a group. Maybe we can have more kind of display of uh, talent, not just on articulation, maybe on kindness if they have done something, some project. So this is something, this is a, the first year, I would say. We are completing the first year of Spark, but I'm sure as we go ahead, we will improve this program even further. Lastly, uh, the song has come out really, really well. I think it will become very popular in the times to come and it will take uh, our program and the message we want to give to all the students. The message is very clear. You have heard the song. You know, you have that spark in you and uh, you know, we, we, we just want to help you to bring it out and to help you achieve your dreams. Thank you so much. Kublai Shibun, Mithila. Good morning. 
Spark is about you, right? And the reason the school has accepted this program is because they know that what you're being taught in classes and what you're being taught for your examinations sometimes needs a little bit more. And we're very happy that the government of Meghalaya has this beautiful program called Spark to improve your confidence, to improve the way you speak and present yourselves, but most of all, to improve the way you think about yourself, your life, and your careers. Sir, you'll be very happy to know that over 70% of all participants in the last two iterations of Spark are girls. Out of 5,000 plus students who have now been certified under the Spark program, over 25 schools have been touched, all government schools. There are a few select schools that were convent schools for girls. So these 5,000 graduates have been touched by a beautiful curriculum that works on the way you think, the way you feel, the way you speak, and most importantly, the way you choose to act when things get difficult. This is in keeping with the government of Meghalaya's vision to empower adolescent youths with the skills needed to thrive in life, not just survive. I won't keep this too long, but I will tell you that all of your progress, and so all of the progress of all participants in the program have been tracked by two very specific measures. One is we have had some very kind teachers spend time with the students on the first day of their program and then spend time with you on the last day of your program to see how well you have done. So I'm so happy to report that across all campuses, the growth on a Lichter scale of one to five is always at least a point and a half or two points above where they started. And this is just in the space of 10 days, 20 hours of training. If we can do so much in 10 days, imagine what will happen if the vision of the department comes true, where we come back to you for the next three years. Confidence, the way you look at someone, the way you stand, the way you speak, the way you shake someone's hand, or most importantly, the way you manage your emotions are a very big part of the SPARK program. And the second assessment has been done by each of you. You have told us how you feel about how you were before the program and how you are after the program. And this is very revealing to us because the numbers are very, very encouraging. So we hope that in the next two weeks, we'll be able to produce the impact report to present to the department. And we are very pleased to also say that today marks the culmination of this pilot year edition of the Spark program. As you sit here today, there are 1,200 students across the state today graduating from various programs in the Garo Hills, the Jaintia Hills, and the Khasi Hills. This is by far one of the most pioneering initiatives of the government, and we hope to see this expand and grow in the years to come. Morning everyone present here. My name is Miguela Babichua Jaran. I study in 7th standard. Since Park came to our school, they have been teaching us so many lessons like to be confident and kind to others. It has changed me to be more confident and kind towards others and myself. It has taught me to pause and think before I say or do something. It has taught me to embrace my fears and face them with courage and confidence. I can say that, in fact, many of the students will agree when I say that we are a better person now. So thank you, Sir Swapnil Tambe, for such a wonderful program for school students. We need more of such programs. I would like to thank my school for inviting Spark and giving us this opportunity. I'm proud to stand here today with confidence and a spark in me. Thank you. And I study in class 8A. I struggle to speak in front of others. To sp others, but Spark had helped me to slow down to come out of my shell. I had learned that being a shy person is not going 
to help me in life, communication, confidence, and an aim are necessary to build a brighter future for myself and for my family. I aspire to become a film director because I am much interested in films. One of my favorite films is Goat, greatest of all time. Now I believe that anyone can achieve their dream with proper guidance and support. So I would thank the educational department, especially Sir Swapin Tembe, special for Spark. Everyone must try. Like how I am facing my fear of public speaking for the first time in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Especially to you, sir. Thank you for being here teachers and to you all my dear friends. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is George Pomajau. I study in Girls 7B and my aim in life is to become a successful businessman. So now I would like to talk about the career domain that I would like to be in. That is entrepreneur domain. First, we need to know what does the word entrepreneur means. The word entrepreneur means a person who earn money by starting or running their own business, especially when this involves taking financial risk. Uh, we have four points, but I want to explain you one by one. The first point is head. We need to be more skillful in math and, sci and social science when we are when, uh, social science when we, we need to uh, social science when we are in lower classes. But when we are in the high classes, we need to be more skillful in math and economics. The second point is about heart. I want to become an entrepreneur because I want to make my parents and my family proud. I also want to help people who is in need of money, uh, who is in need of money, but they also need to hard work and become a successful person in the life. The third point is about heart. We, uh, if we pass in class ten, we need to go class eleven and twelve. So we need to choose the common stream. And, if we pa and after we pass in class 11 and 12, we need to go to the college. So we need to choose the Bachelor of the Business Administration BBA. And, and if you want to continue and study, you can also continue by choosing the Master of the Business Administration. The last point is about help. We need to ask help from our parents because parent is the first part in our life. We can also ask help from our teachers and friends and later when we are when we have bigger we can also ask help from those that became a successful person in life thank you brings me back those memories and um, but first of all i'd like to acknowledge uh, <coughs> the the presence of uh, all uh, uh, very important people here uh, sir swapnil uh, tembe uh, director at the education department uh, sister, uh, Maris, uh, thank you for uh, allowing me and all of us to be part of this journey. And of course, uh, my friend uh, Mark Stone, thanks for the opportunity. I've learned a great deal, uh, Tura and here. And um, sorry, not Tura, Rongjeng and here. And uh, of course, I can uh, see uh, the team at avenues, uh, you know, working so hard. So we give them a big round of applause for that. Okay. Um, I also realize that uh, there are <coughs> SMC members uh, with us, uh, school management committee members. I'd like to acknowledge your, your presence and your presence actually, you know, uh, gives us so much of support. And most of all, all of you dear students, uh, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's great to see you uh, you, how you've improved and uh, take these steps of faith and you know I can actually see this little uh, gradual transformation in the last uh, two, three uh, visits uh, to the old school. So just to give you a background of this song that we wrote. And the song, as the kids know, uh, it's, it's called Spark. And um, 
So when we wrote the song, and I wrote the song, uh, the first thing first was to really study the challenges, uh, you know, of our children. And, um, you know, I look back at when I was a kid and how those challenges were very, uh, very difficult. And, uh, and looking at the kind of, uh, you know, family situations that we have, uh, the lack of support from our uh, uncle figures, from our auntie figures, from our community leaders, because uh, I believe uh, it takes a village to raise a child and it takes a village to support the child. And um, uh, the uh, MC said that uh, I love music, but I tell you, I think uh, music loves me. Uh, that's why I, I, am, I, am, I am here and writing the song because never thought I would come back to Shillong and, you know, become uh, a music practitioner. So, uh, in that way. Uh, so, but, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. And uh, so, Spark, the song, and, and the words in it, you know, uh, there are some catch words. And I should also uh, mention here that when I wrote the first draft, so we sort of co-wrote this together with uh, Sir Mark, and because he understands the context really well, he's so close to, uh, to the project and to the initiative. So I like some of these words that we've put together. It starts with a spark. It starts where we are. We own our voice and our pain and our power. We are the spark. We don't give up. Turn our light into hope in the dark. We are the spark. And there's a verse that says, no more hiding, our heads are held high. No turning back, we are ready to fly. Second to none, we fight because we can. We are the future, we're part of the plan. We will lead the way to a better place. No challenge can stop us, no mountain too tall. No valley too wide, we'll give it our all. To the world around us, we give it back with kindness and love. Yes, we are on track. We will lead the way to a better place. And we have also incorporated uh, the words responsible citizens, which was very tough because it's not really a musical, uh, you know, uh, musical words or the musical words. But we've done it in such a way that, uh, you know, it sounded more as like an ad lib. So more of a response to we are a spark and then we are responsible citizens. You will hear it. And uh, I told uh, our, uh, you know, the, the, the students in Rongjing that yes, I wrote the song. My band Somersault put it together. And then this song is, was actually sung by uh, another choir. Uh, we put together a choir and these kids are not from Shillong. They are from Marbisu. So suburbs again. So even in the pronunciation that you will hear, uh, you know, it's uh, very, very organic and very realistic.
next class teacher of class 8A and class 8B. Let's welcome them again with a huge round of applause for their strong kids. Let's work. Here we go.